In the previous video, I talked about the signs of patellofemoral pain, the different types of patellofemoral pain, and the causes of the pain. In this video, I'll give you an inside look about the treatment of patellofemoral pain. Hi, I'm Arne Elshoff, and welcome to YourPhysio.online. In the last video, I talked about the possible causes of patellofemoral pain and what signs and symptoms you can have. And one of those signs is a swelling in your knee or a lot of discomfort. If there is swelling in your knee, the first step of your rehab is reducing your swelling. You can reduce the swelling in your knee by taking rest of activities that produce your swelling, like squatting or riding a bike up the hill. After the swelling is reduced, the main focus is reducing the discomfort in your knee because more discomfort in your knee can cause less cricep strength, which will then cause more discomfort in your knee. In that way, you're in a downward spiral. So we need to break that spiral by reducing the discomfort in your knee. After the discomfort is reduced, we need to start exercising your quadriceps and hip muscles. But keep in mind that there's probably a well, slight bruise or irritation on the cartilage of your kneecap. And that's not really bad, but it is important that you listen to your body during your rehab because you don't want to keep irritating the cartilage on the back side of your kneecap. It's also important to do exercises to control your knees through your hips. So we need to work on our hip strength and, well, core control. Let's do some exercises to increase your hip strength. Let's start with a basic hip clamp. Come and lie on your side with your hips 45 and your knees 90 degrees flexed. Keep your feet on top of each other and bring your upper leg outwards. Slowly bring your leg down and repeat this exercise three times 15 on both sides. Make sure that you don't rotate in your lower back. And if you want to make this exercise a little bit harder, try to put an elastic band around your knees. Okay, this exercise was a basic exercise to strengthen the hip but it isn't really functional. So let's make it a little bit more functional and let's do a crab walk. Come and stand with an elastic band around your knees. Place a little bit of stretch on the elastic band and bend a little bit in your knees. Push one leg out and bring your other leg in. Repeat this exercise in 15 steps to the right and 15 steps to the left and do this three times. Try to keep your eyes on the same level during this exercise. So these were two exercises for the hips. Let's move to a strengthening exercise for the upper legs, the squat. We will do this squat really slow and that's because you will be able to control the movement and you will feel when to stop. Try to do this exercise and squat in a 6, 2, 1 second rhythm. So that means that you will squat down in 6 seconds, keep a 2 second pause in the lower position and bring yourself up in 1 second. Make sure that you squat as deep as your knees can tolerate and repeat this exercise 8 to 12 times and do 4 sets of them. If you've done your 4 sets of this exercise, make sure to keep a 48 hour break in between. If you feel like you could increase the weight without feeling some discomfort, you can increase the weight. But keep that 6 to 1 rhythm. So these were some strengthening exercises. but. While you work on your strength, you can also start with some soft tissue mobilizations on your patella, so your kneecap, and enhancing mobility in your hamstrings, adductors, iliotibial band, glutes, and cardiceps. And when your strength, mobility, and stability are all worked up, you can start gradually progress your activities. Okay, this video showed you a couple of exercises which you could do if you're experiencing patellofemoral pain. If you want more exercises for your patellofemoral pain syndrome, go to our website where you can download a free patellofemoral pain guide with more background information and exercise videos to help you feel and move better. All right, first of all, thanks for watching and make sure to send this video to friends and family who are having knee pain. And if you need a personal consultation, you can find us at yourphysio.online. This is Arjan and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.